today we're checking on our bees. We're going to see if there's any honey to harvest but it is probably the wrong time of year because we are heading into winter. Um, we didn't have any honey to harvest um, mid-summer and it has been a really dry uh, summer as well so um, I'm not entirely sure what, what we're going to find um, but hopefully we can take a frame inside for the kids because they're desperate to try some honeycomb so if that's all we take that will be really really great and anything extra I'm not sure if we'll take it I might leave it in there for the bees to eat over um, winter but we do have two brood boxes which are full of honey um, for them so they probably don't need a third box but we will play it by ear and see how we go Still nothing. Nada. Nothing. Bugger. This is the second layer. Full of busy bees. We do have a few wasps hanging about though. Well the hive is still healthy which is good and hopefully we can harvest some honey next spring. We weren't the only people who didn't harvest honey this year. It's been one of the driest years in a very very long time and a lot of experienced beekeepers have said that they haven't harvested any either. And we don't artificially feed and we don't have things like canola which are fast honey producing crops. Um, we've only got the natural flowers and the veggies and the fruit trees um, but we will um, do some research on feeding out some sugar water this year and some irradiated pollen um, although it looks like they're still getting quite a bit of pollen there's quite a few bees there with pollen on their legs um, so I'm not too concerned about that I'll probably just keep my eye on them either weekly or fortnightly to see that there's still a large number of bees carrying pollen in their pouches um, and I'll consider the sugar water I don't really like using sugar water because I don't like sugar and it's not natural for the bees um, but I don't want them to die we are trying to clean up this bed a bit it was a, an ornamental garden but it's beautiful soil and I don't really do ornamentals. I will be doing flowers, but ornamentals. Um, so I've got some parsley and garlic through here. That's what you can see here, small garlic. That's the garlic we got from the produce bins. So might just use that for the animals. And these are my yacons, which are a Peruvian ground apple. They grow like potatoes under here and I'll dig them up in about a month's time when the plant starts to die back and we should get some tubers to harvest. They are nice and sweet and really crispy in texture and I really enjoy eating them so um, I'm looking forward to harvesting those and they're ready where not much else is so uh, especially fruit wise so I really like that um, in June I have a lovely, sweet and crispy harvest from the garden. Still got a little bit more to do in the back corner. Whoop! There's a tamarillo tree. There's a few things around it that needs to go. 
but all that's gone which is lovely and I've got these African violets which we're about to put down the bottom before it starts to pour it is super close it's starting to thunder I can almost hear it in the distance it could be the wind in the gum trees but it sounds like it's raining but if we don't move quick it will be you can see the storm rolling in